Alright guys, I'm actually on my way back home to Los Angeles right now. It's been an incredible past few days in Northern California. Such a great time, met some great people. Here is episode 2, Hillsburg edition, window seat. Road trips. Illicit thoughts of Kerouac, great music, and the open road. Now, it certainly can be that, or it can be an exercise in monotony and boredom. Truthfully, as is most things in life, it actually falls somewhere in between. Let's go back to day one. Okay, so key to a good road trip is that you're going to have nothing but crappy options on the road, so make sure you stock up, because once you're on the road, no good options, baby. Not that I don't crave the occasional double-double from in and out but you figure six plus hours on the road, sitting behind a steering wheel, and you have to make some healthy compromises. Yeesh. The challenge of leaving a city like Los Angeles is, of course, the traffic. But before I knew it, it was just me, the open road, and of course, a little Elvis Presley. Just arrived, let's go say hi to Don. Yo, Studio G. <laughs> hey, Don Freeman. What's happening? Come on in. How you doing, bud? Good, how are you doing? Good to see ya. As soon as I got to Northern California, it was right to Studio G to record a podcast with my good buddies, Don Freeman, Scott War, and Never take any, via Skype, absolutely Jimmy Dean Freeman. If I'm we just wrapped up a podcast with Jimmy, Don, and Scott, <laughs> and me. This guy, Don Freeman, is one of my favorite of people on earth. Whenever we get together, there's just this great energy and great ideas that we just bounce back and forth. That night was no exception. Doing so over a plate of nachos and some really good craft beer. The next morning was back on the road for me, this time just a few minutes away to Auburn, California. On February 10th, I'm hosting my final screening here of Life in a Day, my latest film. Make sure you get your tickets and join me for the Western States training camp the following morning. Speaking of, I'm in Auburn. You know I have to get some time in on the Western States Trail. All right, we are coming up on the historic No Hands Bridge. It was a crisp, beautiful, sunny day. Also got to meet some really nice people on the trail. So I ran into three lovely ladies. This is Gretchen. Michelle. Michelle. Rochelle. Rochelle. Yeah. And... Oh, they're much better runners. Heading back this way, nice to meet you guys. On the return trip, I actually came across these guys who recorded this pretty rad video skimboarding on No Hands Bridge. Really, I'm Brad. Yeah. Nick. Pleasure. Nice to meet you, man. Good to meet you. We love your film, dude. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. I, of course, could have spent many more days in Auburn. But it was back on the road for me, over the bridge and across the bay to Healdsburg, California. Wow. Woo, 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 woo. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> Good to see you. Zephyr. How are you? Hold on, I'm going to go back and get my stuff and shower real quick, but wow. Okay, so that is Miss Lisa Hansen, that is John Bettinger, <laughs> and this is their place. Now, if you know ultra running, in particular in California, you know these two. Tropical John Mettinger and Lisa Henson are two of the nicest, most genuine people in this sport. And they also happen to own one of the most stunning places I've had the pleasure of setting foot in. After taking a brief moment to check out the guest room in the pool house. Seriously guys, this place is incredible, and this is just a pool house. I jumped in the shower, and then it was off to dinner in downtown Healdsburg. John, Lisa, and I just got to know each other better, talk about life, politics, you name it. All over a really nice bottle of Zin and food. In the morning, oh my god, 
as cold as it was outside, I had to check out this view. It was stunning. Now, a trip to John and Lisa's town is not complete without making sure you get some miles in Where on the beautiful Lake Sonoma course. Joined by their friend and a couple of energetic dogs, we had a great morning on some of the nicest single track you'll find in Northern California. Following the run and back at the pool house, I actually dared myself to experience some near Arctic temperatures. Just trust me when I say it was freezing. After the shenanigans, it was time to head back into town, grab some food, and of course say hi to Skip Brand, the owner of Healdsburg Running Company, who helped put all of this together. Friends are we? We take the less parking spot. I'm like, no, oh, ask, come like, on. Gary, okay, what's up, buddy? How are you? One of my films is playing here. I see you, Tim. Is that an Ann Trayson cougar? That is Ann. Yeah. She's got so many. She's yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. She's using his doorstop. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like Services gotten All right, this is the venue. Snow Cider. Following dinner and some delicious lights of cider. We started seeing friends one after another. Bob, I'm putting you on camera. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see thanks you, Thanks for coming, man. Yeah, man, thanks for coming out. There's Monica. Hi, Billy. Give me a hug. How are you? Oh. So, Miss Magdalena Boulay, the star of the film, actually showed up, which is awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Movie star. Shirts are great. Uh, thank you so much for coming. So let's uh, give a big Healdsburg welcome uh, to Billy Ann. On foot, there by this. The film went over well. We gave away some Hoka shoes and some Goo products. And then we brought up a local up and coming band, Justin Schaefer's and the Blind Barbers. Thanks, Skip. Hey, enjoy. Thank you, Billy. All right, have a good morning. night. On my final morning, the sun greeted me with one of the top 10 sunrises I've ever seen in my entire life. I quickly hit the road shortly thereafter to meet up with HRC and the running group, although I made a really, really stupid gaffe as soon as the run started. So, guess who's the idiot <laughs> who had his pocket open? where his key was. Yes. <laughs> You're the best. There it is. Healdsburg Track and Field Cross Country's finest. Dude, we've been looking for a while. There you go. Where did you find this? Um, two hunters came up to me. And no! Yes. It was not up. The lights were all on, dude. I just want to pull up to school in it because it's so funny. <laughs> PBR's post run. <laughs> Much love, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Billy. See ya. Bye, Billy. Bye, Billy. Bye. I'll see you soon. Yep. Lake Sonoma yeah. weekend. After saying goodbye Bye. to my friends at Healdsburg, I had to make two more critical stops. Parish Cafe, they have beignets. All right, got my beignets for the road. First at Healdsburg at an authentic New Orleans restaurant. So good. The second in downtown Santa Rosa. Yeah. Hey, John, now we have a left pass. All right. Cool. Left pass and those Thank you. How you doing, my friend? I do love and appreciate my time on the road. There is a sense of freedom, creativity, of exploration, adventure. But sometimes the greatest part about travel is simply knowing you have a home to come back to. And coming back to Southern California and the South Bay, where I was greeted by my friends at my buddy Charles' housewarming party, it was never more evident. What's up, dude? What's up, Billy? This is home. Nice to see you. And as much as we romanticize life on the road, having a home and a home base is definitely a good thing. Off to Auburn next. I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.